Go. Good evening, YouTube. This is uh, Michael Murphy with Murphy Entertainment Studio, and uh, I'm pleased to announce that we have Rachel Danner here with us today. Uh, Rachel is going to be representing Danner Karate Center, and we're very happy to have her. Happy to be here. Yeah, thank you so much. Thank you. Um, would you like to tell us a little bit about your background? Well, narrow it down. <laughs> um, I'm a native to Mount Juliet. I was born and raised there. Um, my dad is the owner and head instructor of Danner Karate Center. Danner Karate Center opened in 1990. Um, we were in the same building for over 20 years. And I've been a part of that. I did a lot of other sports, but karate is kind of in my blood. I literally tell everybody I was born into it. My dad started martial arts in 76. Um, so he's been on a very long journey. And my life with karate is literally taking me around the world. And I've gotten to meet incredible people. And it's actually opened a lot of doors for me. So oh, really? I think a lot more people need to do it. <laughs> Absolutely, yeah. So, yeah. Uh, what, what's one of some of the biggest stuff you've learned? Um, mostly with martial arts, especially when you start as a child, I think it helps a lot with just development, but it helps mm -hmm. a lot with your discipline and with your confidence and actually having just a respect, not only for yourself, but your other, your classmates and all that filters over to it. Let's say it's a child. Um, it filters over to their school. It filters mm -hmm. over to their home life and it filters over actually to any other sport that they want to uh, Try and partake. Absolutely. Okay. Yeah, and it's like that with adults too. Some of them it kind of fixes some things in their life so. mm -hmm. There's more to it than just punches and kicks. Oh, absolutely. Now. I understand that you do a little acting as uh, well. Yeah, <laughs> A little, hopefully a lot one day. Definitely, I do. That's that's the path that I'm on, and uh, hoping to bring karate along with me. Yeah, yeah. I'd like to do that. So how do you incorporate what you've learned through martial arts into your film? Um, a lot of ways, Yeah, actually. Um, not only just the action parts of wanting to punch and kick on camera and to show, you know, that a woman does do this stuff. Um, but also the fact that I have the confidence to walk into a room full of people mm -hmm. and to talk out loud and to be comfortable on camera. And, you know, I have the discipline to sit down and study my scripts, learn my characters and, and, you know, you being respectful to other people on set with you as well. So literally everything correlates. Absolutely. Yeah. What kind of training, like, I mean, now you do your martial arts training, right? What else do you do to prepare for a role? say like in your acting uh I, I obviously read the whole script for mm -hmm. me that's very important if I feel like I'm I'm kind of stuck in a character I try and talk to whoever the uh, the screenwriter is or the script who wrote it and I want to know you know I kind of think about who is this person and where did they come from and if there's not a backstory I might create one just to mm -hmm. kind of have a connection and figure out you know well if I was this person how would I react and a lot of that, too, comes with just being physical as well as the mental side of it. Absolutely. So, you know, you got to keep your brain in shape. You got to keep your body in shape. Mm -hmm. Well, that's that's really cool how you're able to incorporate, you know, the two things into what you're doing, you know, in the acting and whatnot. Um, what's your latest uh, project? What are you working on now? Not much of nothing. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> just right now with everything, the, the state of the climate of the world, um, I do have some things, though, that I want to start moving forward with and um, jumping back into it full time. So okay. some of it's just making a phone call. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, guys, I mean, COVID has been, the last year has just been crazy for Definitely. all of us. And I know that we're just trying to get through this. and Definitely. And, and it hit everybody. Um, yeah. With all this, I will say this though, karate is the one thing that I noticed through a lot of the sports that we were able to do the the lockdowns. Um, we got inventive and mm -hmm. we created Dana Karate Center over Zoom and we were able to just set up computers and, you know, we got to see kind of into all the kids and our adults, their homes, but it also, they were dedicated and they were still in their classes two to yeah. three times a week. and. You know, it, it gave them something to do and, dare I say, hope. That's <laughs> that, awesome. That they can, you know, still do this. Yeah, so people were still able to continue with yeah. what they were learning and doing in the studio or, you know, at 
Danner Karate Center. Most definitely. Yeah. Matter of fact, we um, we had two students do their belt exam over Zoom. Oh, really? Yeah. That's cool. And it was, and like that was the first time ever. So it was, and it was not only new for them, but it was mm-hmm. new for us. And like I said, my dad's been teaching martial arts for seventy, or I'm sorry, for forty five years. So it was, you know, it was all new for him. He's not tech savvy, so that was that was my job was to set up all the tech. But it was it was neat and it was cool and it was for me that you literally can do martial arts anywhere. Yeah, that's awesome. And I mean, you know, you can still continue to do that. Mm-hmm. I mean, just because COVID is going on, guys, life goes on. You know, we've got stuff to do and whatever it is that you love to do, I think you should continue to do it. You know, mm-hmm. I mean. Every day. I mean, that's the, for me, that's the luxury of doing martial arts. Um, I remember uh, my son was a few years old, like I think five, and we went to Florida as a family with my mom and dad, Mm -hmm. and uh, we had some friends in Florida there, and we're in the hallway of the hotel, and we're all out there doing karate together, because (laughs) that's, you know, that's why they came to see us, was the camaraderie, but also because you know, you get enough karate people together, somebody's going to start punching and kicking, and we're all going to start punching and kicking. Oh, yeah, yeah. So Absolutely. It sounds like you guys had fun. We did, and, and um, karate is fun. You know, it's a great activity. Anybody, it, it's physical, it's mental. Um, it actually is an emotional thing, too. Mm-hmm. It, it helps you, you know, it gives you something to help with focus, mm-hmm. definitely. Absolutely. Um, there's quite a lot of students now that come to us and their parents are worried because they have ADHD or ADD Mm -hmm. and it actually helps them because it helps them learn how to focus, how to learn how to control their own body. Yeah. So there's, you know, like I said, there's the mental side of it as well as the physical side and Mm -hmm. it's fun. Oh, absolutely. (laughs) It's fun. And for me, I love it and I encourage anyone, anyone who's ever thought about it, just go out and try it. It's great. Whether you're a kid an adult, age doesn't matter um, yeah, right. at all. Nothing matters. Just go and do it. You know, we've got a lot of students that have a lot of personal things they have to overcome, and they did it because of karate. Yeah, so, that's awesome. Well, is. you seem like a very positive person, Rachel. Thank you. I try yeah. to be. <laughs> yeah, very positive, and I, I think that's the way that we got to be nowadays. I mean, it it's is. good to be able to help each other out, guys, and, you know, I mean, there, there's a lot of people out there struggling right now, mm-hmm. and we need to do what we can to help other people. Yeah, you know? I mean, and and martial arts is a great way it to is. Uh, build your mind and your body, and uh, and we're a, a little and big community. Yeah, I mean martial arts. We've Dinner Karate Center has been there. Just about everybody you come in contact with, like I think I've heard of that place. Yeah, or, yeah I know that place. Yeah. My son or. You know, I did, and yeah. that's the cool part. But we're also a worldwide um, federation that we're connected with. So we're able to talk to people in Switzerland and in Japan, where, yeah. we're, our, where our style originated from. So, yeah, it's it's a really cool thing to be able to also say, hey, you know what? I know some people from these other countries, and mm-hmm. to learn perspectives and, it's awesome. you know, get just kind of get to be in a whole... Thing that's bigger than you yeah yeah and and yeah and po- and karate helps you be positive absolutely you, you learn how to like if i can do this then what else can i do exactly it builds your confidence yes very yeah. much so um tell our viewers where danner karate center is located if somebody would be interested in coming sure to visit you guys we are at 9695 lebanon road suite 410 it's the goddard um complex center off of, on lebanon road if um not far from West Elementary. It can be a, a, a not a difficult place to get into, but we're on the back side. Um, there's a big garage door back there, so look for the signs. We've got them up, and um, we've had the same telephone number, so 615-758-8889. <laughs> okay. And, you know, if you've got any um, questions or concerns, uh, we also have a Facebook page, which is Danner Karate Center, and uh, we keep it up to date with anything specific going on with the karate school. That sounds great. So, guys, if you're watching and you've ever decided or you want to do martial arts and you want to learn what it's all about, come see Miss Rachel or Donnie Danner. Yes. At uh, you know Danner Karate Center, and uh, they'll be glad to have you. Definitely. And just really quick, a few if you're curious, 
Um, he's my dad, but I still think he's an amazing karate instructor. Um, he started karate, like I said, in the 70s. He is a six degree in our style. He is trained with some of the top instructors in the world. He continues to train with those instructors to learn because karate is his passion. Mm -hmm. And I think for him, it's also teaching. It goes hand in hand. And he has had, I don't know how many students, you know, and all of them, we treat them like family. You come in, it's family. And, Absolutely. You know, um, to me, for him, he'd say the credentials aren't that, you know, he earned them and he worked hard for them, but that's not what makes you great at what you do. It's it's practicing what you preach and living it. Absolutely. Absolutely. And he does. I mean, yeah, he's my dad, but he does. He practices what he preaches. He eats good. He drinks his water. Yep. He gets his sleep, you know, and he'll tell you all that too. So Great. Well, uh, is there anything you'd like to add? Um, I just... Just thank you very much for having me on. You're very here. welcome, and Rachel. I hope maybe somebody out there who's watching this decides they want to get into the karate world and see where it takes them. Um, for me, I hope my journey continues in martial arts, and I'd love to tie it into my acting and mm -hmm. maybe be on the big screen one day throwing a couple kicks. <laughs> there you go. Well, I, I think you're going to make it. Thank you. I appreciate do, that. You're going to do good. And uh, guys, let's stay positive. Yes. And we really appreciate uh, Miss Danner coming on today. And uh, this is Murphy Entertainment Studio out. Thank you so much, guys. Have a wonderful evening. We'll see you next time.